everybody and welcome to another Games for Dads video. Okay, what are we doing today? We are going to be looking at this week's league and the damage deck we put together that's taken us all the way to Dragon Rank 1. So there's the deck on the left there. A lot of mythics in it I'm afraid this week but we wanted to do something where we had a bit of power and a lot of damage as well. So starting energy 20, minimum energy near nil and maximum energy is 60. Okay, here's the deck. We have got Archangel, one of our classic mythic cards. We've got the Grim Reaper to dish out a little bit of permanent damage to our opponent. Chupacabara, again, to dish out some more damage. Then we've got Unicorn. I'm quite liking the Unicorn, 7 for 77, but if you play them straight away, you get a bonus 77 as well, so it doubles in power. A Loch Ness Monster, strategically used to lock up some cards. Flying Dutchman, in case we're behind, probably going to be handy. And we've also got the Tonsker Effect, event, sorry, not effect. And we've got Planet X, um, four of our space cards in this deck. To go with that, we've got Hypernova, which is a great one. Six for 50 and 100 bonus. The Brain, we're going to be locking up a few more cards with that one. That can become very handy. Hemidale, I think it's quite useful this week. And we've got Charles Ponzai, one of our favourite cards at the moment. Certainly going to give us a lot of power. And then some more damage from Yellow Jacket. Great card. Irritating buzzing card. And then we've got General Sherman. And as always, I like to play General Sherman with Douglas Fir. Because you only need one other tremendous tree card to get that big bonus. Uh, the last space card, Terminator, and then a couple of cards really to annoy people. Jack O' Lantern, uh, that burns your opponent's cards, and Merlin to lock up another card. As you can see, there's quite a few damage cards in there. We're trying to use the most maximum uh, power to this week, and also making sure we've got a few high power cards in there. So, as I said, we've taken this from uh, rank 7 all the way up to rank 1 in Dragon. We've lost one game so far on the way. And let's see if we can get a shield on this game. So let's find out if we can find an opponent. We are online, so if anybody's looking for a game, come and join us. Don't forget, if you haven't used the referral code, check out the description below and you will see our lucky subscribers referral code that you can use this week. And if you want to do some trading, look us up in game. We are Dada the Goat. That's our in game name, Dada the Goat. Okay, we're still searching for an opponent here. Come on, a bit slow sometimes. Okay, while we're waiting, do check out some of our other videos, especially our top 10. We've got now the top 10 mythic, top 10 legendaries, and we're just about to upload top 10 epic cards. So some good information there for you. Ah, oh, here we go, great. Okay, into the game. Who are we playing? Caesar's Ghost. Okay, let's dish out a little bit of damage straight away. Charles Ponzo at the beginning there. Okay, what's he got? Oh no, he's oh he's got a drain deck. Oh no, this is going to be horrible. I think we don't have a problem with drain decks. We can power our way through it, but they are really annoying, and we can do him a bit of damage on the way. So Charles Ponzo, Archangel, two oh nine, not going to get much of a score. One four nine, spent more than I thought. Blimey, look at the uh, energy consumption on those cards now. They're all well into the red. Oh, that was another hit. Okay, yellow jacket, do some damage. We're 60 in the lead. Okay, we're going to have to be fairly conservative with what we play here. And Jack O'Lantern, let's just annoy him a little bit. Whoa, you flying Dutchman. No, oh, he's going to go well into the lead here. Okay, well, we've got Flying Dutchman as well, so we can counter him as long as he doesn't hit us with some more. Oh, luckily, hit Douglas Fair is now 17 16 to play Douglas Fair. That's crazy. Okay, let's get a Unicorn Flying Dutch and let's do Planet X. Let's get some buffs further up the road. Okay, 448. We managed to steal that round, that was good. That drain deck he's playing is horrible. I really hate drain decks, but never mind. Okay, Douglas Fur looks like he's out of the game for a while. 
not sure if we're going to be able to play him at all, which is a bit of a pity. That's good, lucky Hemidale. Uh, General Sherman. Oh, oh, here we go again. Oh, 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 oh my word. 11 for Hemidale. That's ridiculous. 13 for General Sherman. One card only. There we go. What are you doing, Caesar's ghost? You are crucifying us. Okay, we are a little bit behind. Can we get out of jail here? There's a Loch Ness monster. We might have to lock up some of his cars. Let's get Hemidale out and Loch Ness. And Grim Reaper. That's not too bad. Lucky it's a high power or high energy week. 220 against 165. Okay, we're back in the game. We are surprisingly back in the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that Douglas fur. No good. Oh, he's not leaving him alone. <laughs> He is not leaving him alone. Okay. Oh, still he's hitting us. So we don't have much choice here, really. But we're going to get a decent score. Luckily, we got some high power cars. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. 2 0. What a disaster. Okay. So, as I was saying, this deck we put together, uh, it's got a lot of power in it, but it's also got a lot of cards. And I'm really liking the uh, the lock cards because that's really uh, been handy on the way up to rank one to lock up some people. So, Charles Ponzai needs to go out straight away. Oh, I'm gonna have to play you even at nine. 409, that's not too bad. And Bray's gonna lock up another one of his cards. Why would you play Flying Dutch there, Caesar? What are you doing? Anyhow, let's lock up that other card. So we've got a nice tasty lead now. I think we're going to win this 3-0 by the looks of it. Even with all that draining. So we're going to play Archangel. We're going to follow it up with Douglas first down to nine, finally. But we can't play him. 199. Oh, we're well into the lead now. He had absolutely nothing. 38 points there, I think he scored. Yep, there we go. 404. That will do us nicely. And we can just about afford to play a few cards here. So let's put out, I think we only need two to be honest Planet X and Unicorn. 278, he needs over 600. He's not going to get that. You know what, stick around, I think we're going to play another game because that was a horrible game and it really didn't show off this deck at all. So I don't want to play somebody with a much better deck uh, to see how we do. Anyhow, that's our first shield. So congratulations to us. Nice win. Unlucky there, Caesar's Ghost. Let's go on. Caesar's Ghost. Cool name. Okay. Uh, let's go into the league game. Let's wait a second, see if anybody comes up looking for a game. Anybody wants to play? Ta-da! The goat! We are waiting. No? Okay, let's go. So, same deck. Destroyer. One shield. Let's see if we can get our second shield off the day. Put this onto rank one dragon. Two shields would be nice. Oh, that's better. We've got somebody straight away. So let's see, what are we playing against and who are we playing against? We are playing Living Boom. Okay, let's go for a boom straight away from Chukakubara. Hello, Living Boom. Are you there? Hello, great. Okay, General Sherman, how are you Chukakubara gives us a nice steady start, 180. What's he, Planet X and Douglas Furs? Only two cars, interesting. Why would you only play two cards? Conserving your energy? What has he got? Okay, a nice little lead to start off with. Ooh, interesting start by Living Boom. I'm not sure what he's playing at there. Okay, let's do some damage again. We've got Planet X to go out, Archangel to power up our cards a bit. Um, should we lock some cards up? Is he only going to play two? Oh, he's playing three. Never mind. I was hoping to lock up three of his cards there, but. Oh, it's a word to turtle deck with the Yeti and Hero Front. Okay, this is going to be a tough game, which is what we wanted. So we are quite a long way in the front now, 350. We should be okay on the first round. Let's see what he's got. Charles Ponzai, we're going to have to play you. Uh, shall we 
hold Terminator or should we play Terminator? We're going to win this round. Let's get rid of Hypernova for sure. Let's keep Terminator. 414, what's he going to play? Oh, he's pulled his cards back. Living Boom. Surrendering at the first round. Well played. I'll give you that. Save your energy. He's obviously got some high power cars in there to go with his turtle. Thanks, you're welcome. Okay, let's go for it. I think we'll try and do a little bit of damage to him. So, Grim Reaper, Merlin to lock up one of his cards and Yellow Jacket. Ooh, there we go, Test Studio. I'm not sure about Test Studio, you know. It's uh, certainly this week, it's such a drain on your energy and it's pretty easy to counter. Especially when you've got some lock cards because there we go. We are gonna lock one of your cards straight away that you've just buffed up. And jack o lantern that's why he's in our deck, just to give you a little bit of flames. So we're behind the brain to lock up another card and jack o lantern to burn some more. Two, five, seven. Oh, the lovers! Again, another card I'm not too sure about because it really throws out your rotation. Not convinced. 21 energy is used on those two cards. Okay, the brain locking up another one of his cards. We're starting to annoy him a little bit, I expect. Because those cards are still burning. He's got a lead. He's going to win this. So let's not get too carried away. Unicorn, Terminator, Douglas Fur to get some extra points. Ooh, what's he got there? Six, nearly 700. Hyping over Ace of Cups and Terminator. Okay. Right, we need to make sure we can get those space cards either out of the game or locked somehow. Um, luckily, we've got quite a few lock cards. So, uh, I'm thinking this is going to go 1-1. One, one. I think we could make sure we need to win this. We need to make sure we get the initiative here. And then we'll be okay, I believe. So, General Sherman, Hemidale, Planet X, nice start. Oh, Charles Ponzi on his behalf. Hemidales counter each other out. Dark Web, not much help for you, I'm afraid. Okay, so it's going to be close. I think Charles Ponzi should come round for us now. That should give us a few points. Let's have a look. Are you there, Charles? Hello, Charles. Welcome back. So, Charles Ponzi. Oh, Archangel took a bit of a hit. He's got Iron Maiden in his hand. Uh, Tungster and Loch Ness. Let's lock up those two life online cards of his. 279 against 426. Okay, let's lock those two cards up. Perhaps probably Douglas Fur is one of them. Okay, and maybe the Yeti, I'm guessing. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Let's make sure we win this. So, Hypernova, Archangel, and Merlin. Let's lock up one more card. No, it wasn't the Yeti. I still got the Yeti. Okay. Oh, two cards again. I think he kind of given up on that round as well. Okay, so now we need to think about this. We need to make sure we use our Loch Ness card. We want to keep him right for the very end, for the second turn on round five to try and lock up those big cards of his. I think that's going to be important. Let's get some damage dished out to him. I'm not going to try and win this one unless he's got zero points, which could be. Well, there's that Douglas Fur that was locked up and General Sherman. Oh, too much damage. Okay, oh, 135 behind. We've got Dutch in our hand and we've got the Grim Reaper we're definitely going to play to put some more damage on his cards. Oh, the Unicorn we have to play because that buffs on the first turn only. No point keeping him, so let's get him out of the way. Douglas Fur, 447. Ooh, I think we are still about 100 points behind. Do we go for it? Do we go for it? One, two, three behind. I don't think we should. I think we should save ourselves for the final round. Terminator. What we? we could possibly win it if we go for it, but I'm not going to. I am not going to go for it. There we go. Probably a good call because he got 440, 600. Yeah, we might have just won that actually if we'd gone for it. But this way we almost guaranteed the win because Loch Ness, if we've got this rotation right now, it's going to come out right when we need him. 
and we've got some big casts to start off with. So Planet X, General and Hemidel, 308, going to be close, 110, got a nice lead actually, what happened there? Oh the Ace of Cups, I misread that one. Okay, 198 against, oh the Pseudo powers his cars up. A 198 at the moment, Charles Ponzai. I think we will get some big points here. Let's go for it. There's Loch Ness. Okay, we're going to use Loch Ness to lock up. I thought he'd save his two space cards. Oh, he is saving his two space cards. Brilliant. Oh, this, we should now be okay. We're going to lock up those two space cards with Loch Ness. Great, 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 great. And we've got a slight lead of 160 points. We've got Terminator still in our hand. I'm sorry, Living Boom. You're still going to get a good score, I think, but I think we should be okay. Hypernova, Terminator, and Archangel. Or maybe Merlin. Let's go with Archangel. That's a good call. 670. Oh, unlucky, Living Boom. We've just beaten you there. Nice final turn, though. I'm sorry about locking up those two space cars of yours because if we hadn't done that, you probably would have won the game. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed looking at that damage deck. As I said, we put it together, especially for this week, to have a bit of fun and really to frustrate some people because we've been getting a lot of challenges from people. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed playing us. Anyhow, please leave us a like and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will see you all soon. Oh, there we are. Two shields is rank 61. Not bad. We are rank 61. I'm not going to stay there because I think we only ever go for 10 shields, but let's see what happens. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.